People, I think, hire me because they know I, my design is always timeless, classic. I don't follow trend. In fact, I don't know what the trends are. When somebody uh, award me with a, a project and design, I'm beyond grateful and my job is to deliver what they ask and beyond. I want the house to look even more immaculate than when we entered. We do projects from a historical house to ground up from the land with no water, no electricity. We try to not just solve beauty, but practicality and lifestyle, as well as uh, living um, to make a house, a space livable for the person or the family who live there. I'm Jonathan Rackman, principal designer of Jonathan Rackman Design. My firm is based in San Francisco, but our projects are all over the country, as well as in Europe, Jakarta, Singapore, and Bali. Today we're in San Francisco, California, and specifically we're in the Haight-Ashbury neighborhood. I think this is one of the most amazing projects that I've done in San Francisco, but just overall in my career. And this is the last project that made it into my first monograph, currently classic. I was given literally complete freedom to express myself for them, what I read of them and interpret it into their style and interior. About a 5,000 square feet with a courtyard and parking, which is super rare in San Francisco. It's hard to find a house like this. They asked me to create a home for them that represent who they are. They love colors, they love patterns, and that makes everything a lot easier. It was a dated house. So the directive is to also to bring this house into 2023 in design, in interior, but also in comfort and practicality. This is a family that knows how to have fun, and I love them for that, and they allow me to express that fun into their design. As we approach the facade, you'll see a traditional San Franciscan uh, Edwardian. This house, I believe, was built in 1906 after the earthquake, and it's been dissected as a three-part home that's later on combined again. Welcome to the living room that's more is never enough or a maximalism living room. The first thing that I always like to point out is the decorating wallpaper right there. The pattern is from Yves Saint Laurent uh, original, but it is hand painted and hand embroidered. If you look at really close, you'll see it's actually three dimensional. It is absolutely beautiful and we do it in a colorway that's very, very dramatic and moody, but very, very elegant. The original millwork of this room, we just basically preserve them by painting them with neutral color in um, eggshell finish. But what I want to highlight also is the gorgeousness of the layers of the millwork and we gilded it with a gold leaf done by Julie Stone. This Baltic antique chandelier was once uh, resided in uh, one of the uh, houses that's designed by uh, Julia Morgan with this crystal rocks. And the Passiman tree here, I believe this is from Ules. So beautiful. Window treatment that complements the wallpaper. This dining room is absolutely stunning and bold. Maybe it's not for everyone, but it is for the owners as well as for me. We, to address that, we just high gloss in four layers of uh, Benjamin Moore black with a sculptural dining table from Coquette and a height geometrical table in midnight blue, French Louis Philippe chairs that's been reupholstered in rich mohair with a uh, contrast linen on the back. But on this side, if you see, I also use beautiful uh, embroidered trim. I love the contrast of black and white and gold and the uh, uh, China display is original, but if you pay attention to the jeweled uh, hardware, it is absolutely beautiful. Antique Thai ceremonial. Uh, and I love this doggy. Isn't he so elegant? And I commissioned a photographer to do this art and we customized it with Lucite to make it more modern. 
chandelier that's custom made by Lex Spot. Um, he's a, a product designer in um, the Netherlands. And there's one source of light, and the light is carried through throughout the branch called the Tree of Life. Originally, it was installed, the original one, in a um, castle in Austria that has never been electrified. The owners love to entertain, love their cocktails. And um, as you see, I have accessorized this uh, bar to accommodate their liquor collection. But what I also want to point out is my dear, dear friend, Margot Larkin, who is an artist who hand paints on glasses. Welcome to what used to be the breakfast nook. But who wants a breakfast nook if you could have a... Um, cocktail lounge and bar. Embroidered velvet uh, pattern. Uh, I, I, to me, they look like Greek fret, but it, we complement the coloring or the color scheme with the entire room and the kitchen. And the rug is by Carl Bunting in collaboration with Douglas Friedman. We found this uh, Parisian cigar chairs. Um, typically, you find them on a flea market, but we could not travel during the pandemic, so we found them on Cherish. Uh, custom, this is my design of the uh, ottoman, of course, with Ula, Ula's uh, basement tree. And uh, this banquette here, if you want to, you could actually split this into two for a more flexible sitting, however you want it. But what I love also about this room is the original um, built-in cabinetry that we converted not only for their bar um, supplies and a collection of books and vintage and sculptures. I have a friend who owns a company, uh, Modern Metal. We cover this with a custom laser cut radiator cover and it still lets the heat out through the pattern. But this pattern also complements Holland and Sherry window treatment, the leading edge. Come to the kitchen. How much do you love this bold kitchen? Not everybody can deal with this color every day, but our clients love it and I love it. Uh, this island is actually a vintage piece that has been turned into a, an island with a uh, waterwork copper um, finish um, faucet with copper finish sink. And we complement that with this ledges so we, they could put their coffee or the kids can draw or their um, just stuff that you can put while you are sitting on the stool. The countertop is onyx. Le Cornu um, range. We highlight the hood by gilding it and with uh, the old and vintage antique collections that I've found and customized for this house. Welcome to the Mozopulin wine cellar. This used to be a family room and they want to host about 3,000 if not more uh, wine from all over the world that they collect. And I help them with customizing this uh, wine cellar from the cabinetry to all the antiques, accessories that I found. I especially want to point out this Cariatin that I found in Spain also, but they're from the 17th century. And if you Come here into the backyard. Look how beautiful the bronze sculpture that I also found for this property and all the lattice work also. Backlit onyx. Copper top, so the kitchen and the wine cellar and the cocktail lounge all talk to each other. And this ladder that just slides so easily. Um, and everything is all customized and embroidered down to the linen. Welcome, chic and eclectic uh, powder room here. As you see, I love the Gournay, and this is hand uh, painted, hand embroidered, and hand sequenced. You see all the beads. Love uh, finding this Art Deco um, oval mirror that actually complements the wallpaper, the color. It's actually salmon, literally. This belongs to the client throughout their travel. It's a Moroccan uh, tabletop that we convert as an art. And I complement that with the shape of the lambrequin of the window treatment. I love using onyx for a countertop. In this case, it's a pink translucent onyx. I think it's so luxe. 
um, this uh, vanity was actually existing when I arrived here. I just enhanced it with the gilding. Come on up uh, to the second floor where the living quarter is. And this pattern on pattern on pattern, colors and colors continue, the maximalism uh, theme continue in this house. I want you to look at all the wallpapers too. The Greek key, the balustrades, the handrail. And I'll come here and check out this runner going up. Also star carpet, but this is a Missoni line. The clients love it. I love it. Check out this collision of patterns. I think it works out. And this used to be a guest room that we converted into a nursery. I love to pair it with antique crystal chandelier that has complementary colors in the um, uh, crystals. And of course, the rug is uh, by Stark Carpet. And I love the color. It has a fun animal prints, but colors that complement the whole scheme. The Jack and Jill bathroom, so fun, covered in Manuel Canova's The Indian Scenery. That colorways complements what we've done with this custom vanity. Look at the hardware, it's also seamless three with the pink onyx. And you know, a lot of show kind of really clean up everything, but I want this to be a real life experience. So you get to see how this has turned out to be a baby or a toddler bath. Look at what, this is real life. So we're, we didn't clean this up on purpose and you get to see what's going on here. And check out this trick that we did. So we love antiques. It's a perfect uh, bathroom with an amazing wallpaper. We don't want to do your typical uh, uh, medicine cabinet over the vanity and you, you see all the ugly metals and modern, you know, industrial looking. Instead, what we did is this antique Louis Philippe um, mirror that's painted and gilded with the beading, beautiful. Um, the patina is, uh, just naturally happened uh, throughout the centuries. And when you open this, guess what? We have engineered this with the uh, contractor and that is an empty medicine cabinet that's ready to be used. Oh, may I just point out also that every shade gets a trim. Come on in. This is their primary uh, suite and the bedroom. She loves green and so do I. And when I told you there are 150 shades of green here, I'm not lying. Let's just start with the rug on the um, herringbone or chevron uh, pattern by Stark again, custom. And the headboard is uh, antique, upholstered with chartreuse, neon green throw. And the artichokes of this cushion, decorative cushion, complements the original artichoke uh, fire surround. Um, I love this room uh, of how we layered it and it satisfies the client's love of green. And check out this over the top uh, shade. I love green on green, including the um, floral arrangements. I found this vintage tufted um, ottoman or poof that I reupholstered. And look at this gorgeous little green apples trim. Um, that also goes on the window treatment. And of course, who doesn't love a custom Ulus um, high bag? Alrighty, see, gorgeous. Welcome to one of the most opulent bathrooms we've designed, custom um, tiles that we designed and made by Da Vinci Marble. This is actually a type of semi-stone, precious stone. And we frame it with rivets. Look at how thick this is. And if you pay attention to the tile pattern, there is the screen that's cut, laser cut the same way. This top, all the uh, plumbing fixtures are from Waterworks. But I love the double shower head 
and the green head in the middle to share for the husband and wife, and this Irish green marble. The wall is washed by lighting, and also check out the vintage pendant. That is a Moroccan theme, yeah. We actually custom painted this with gold paint, the tub. Let's go up to the top floor, and this is one of my favorite rooms. This room could have been a challenge or a disaster if you don't do it correctly. If you notice the reflective ceiling plan and the uh, ceiling pitches are so all over. Uh, they, they each have different pitch, different angles, if you notice. How do we fix that? I think I want to use that instead to our benefit and creating a all-around wallpaper a room, including the ceiling and the wall, everywhere in one monochromatic, in this case, two different color of uh, blue and white. And again, to continue the theme with chinoiserie in this house, we created a lambrequin with the white and white trim over the blue that complements the wallpaper. Then in Duchess, I believe, uh, this custom sconces as well as uh, chandelier. And yes, one more Greek key that we did a cutout shape along the, uh, the wall and the built-in. While continuing the black and blue theme chinoiserie with all the cashpo, uh, I also love to pop in some colors, in this case, the coral color. And if you come closer here, you will see the chair and down to the coral hand painted wine glass by Margot Larkin. She's my favorite. This is a guest room, a guest quarter that doubles as um, Mrs. Office or her office, but also this guest room has a guest room, which if you, uh, uh, a couple, uh, stay here, they have a kid with them, they have their kid's guest room right here. Check this out. Ta-da! And decorated in the same way, complementing each other, using the same fabric, but here we do a different wallpaper, a bold um, blue and white stripe, and we have it painted all over the ceiling, so it has that tinted effect and it has all the trims with nail heads. I would summarize the end result as, uh, it's a narcissistic statement most probably, but it's mind-blowing. It is a case of more is never enough. It's a case of pattern over pattern over texture over color. It's a collision of all of those, but in the end, it is one gorgeous, cohesive masterpiece. It's beautiful to me and it's beautiful to the owners, that's all I care about. <laughs>